please put your hands together, Mr. Tom Kerridge. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be doing three dishes, front of coach, the Nick's going to talk you through. Smoked ox tongue, deep fried cheek, and sauce for biche. And then I've got a burger after that, and I'm going to finish with a mushroom risotto that's a little bit different as well. So I'm going to start by making the uh, sauce grabiche. It's quite versatile, can be used for, you know, terrines, uh, cold meat. Today I'm doing it with smoked tongue. So I'm going to start by making the mayonnaise part with the hard-boiled yolks. I'm just going to pound those down and then emulsify into that vinegar and oil like you would with mayonnaise. Then take the white of the hard-boiled egg, julienne it, and that goes into the mayonnaise along with Baby some cheese. chopped cornichons, capers, and then lots of herbs. So what I have here is some smoked ox tongue. What that does is, you can see the lovely pink colour, accentuates that, it also seasons it, and it also helps it to uh, hold on to moisture. So along with the smoked tongue, we've got the sauce grabiche, and then we have a deep fried cheek fritter. So there's a couple of elements that I've just put on there. A little bit of a watercress and frisée salad. The thing on the top there, that is what we call a cow puff. And then it's just dusted with a bit of um, smoked paprika, cumin, garlic salt, kind of beefy, kind of jerk sort of flavors. Moving on to the next dish. Yeah. So I'm gonna get on with the hey. burger. Burgers that are pink have a lot of press, a lot of bad press really. And so we wanted to make it EHO friendly as well. So we cook it for four hours at 62 degrees. So what we did to make it more tender is we've added beef suet to the, to the mix. So when I mix that through it, as that cooks, it will render out and it will leave little cavities which actually break the texture down. So you end up with this succulent uh, tender burger. So we're gonna roll it into a sausage shape. So the final product looks like this, but we always try and make it and each individual component the best of everything. And then we pick the nicest cheese. We just use a strong West Country cheddar, to be honest. So we've got a dill pickled yeah, cucumber. We've got a flat mushroom that we've braised. So you've got cucumber, mushroom, cheese. Just while all that's cooking, so this is uh, one of the most popular dishes at the coach. It's a mushroom risotto. It's a little bit different. It doesn't have any rice in it. It's just a dice of a king oyster mushroom. Risotto claw bozzy, it's called. Well, he calls it a no risotto because it's got no rice in it. But Nick's doing it with mushrooms. So it is diced mushrooms cooked with a mushroom puree. And it's this really unctuous, really delicious, wonderful kind of risotto-y texture, loads of flavor. Hey, I'm just playing up the uh, mushroom risotto, Mark. It is quick, isn't it? Yeah, it is literally, it's almost an instant dish. A minute and a half, start to finish. Once you've got your puree made, the mushroom dice, and then over the top, just like that, with some uh, lovely aged Parmesan. Okay then, burger, all coming together now. So just a bit of mustard mayonnaise, uh, three types of mustard, English, grainy, and Dijon. And there we go, the burger. Look at that. So as you can see, the meat to bun ratio is definitely in favour of the meat, but that's the way we like it. Once again, Tom Kerry's Nick Beard, Sean Morgan. Thank you very much. The industry is much more open now than it was. Years ago, uh, chefs were reluctant to share their recipes to, you know, it all felt a bit kind of secluded. Whereas nowadays, everybody is much more sharing and open with, with everything. Demonstrations like this are great for the industry because what it does is it allows, there's a lot of students here today which is brilliant and they are the base, they are the foundation, they are the future of our industry. 